Hi, how you doing? It's Russell James. You're watching The Raw Chef TV. In this episode, I'm gonna show you how to make these amazing raw cookies with almond pulp. If you remember, a couple of episodes ago, I showed you how to make nut milk, and I promised you that I would show you this recipe with what you can do with the almond pulp that results from it. So we're gonna make these cookies, and I'm gonna show you some really fun raw chocolate chips to go with them as well. That's definitely something to get the kids involved in, so let's get into it now. So here we've got our almond pulp all ready to go. The other ingredients we're gonna use are lacuma, powdered coconut sugar, then we've got these raisins, or you could use goji berries. And we're also gonna use vanilla powder or half a vanilla pod, and then to sweeten and bind it, we can use maple syrup. Now we also need some water standing by because each different batch of almond pulp that you have will, be, will vary in its water content. So we'll add, first of all, our lacuma, then our powdered coconut sugar, just makes it easier if we stir as we go. Then we can add our raisins or goji berries, and then our vanilla powder in this case, and then finally our maple syrup. I'm also gonna add a couple of pinches of Himalayan salt here. So mix that all in and take a look at what kind of consistency you've got. And if it's not binding together, then you're gonna need a little bit of extra water. Now, when you add the water, just add it in small amounts, because obviously you can always add more, but you can't take it out once it's in there. So when you get to the final consistency, so it should be just kind of holding together, but not too wet, then we're ready to put that to one side and work on the chocolate chips. So for the chocolate chips, we've got half a cup of shaved cacao butter, melted, but we measure it before it was melted, one cup of cashews, three tablespoons of powdered coconut sugar, three quarters of a cup of water, half a cup of cacao powder, and a pinch of salt. Now we've just blended that up, popped it into an icing bag, and then we've put it in the fridge for about 90 minutes to firm up, ready to make these chocolate chips. So take down a piece of baking parchment, and then cut just the very end of your icing bag off, maybe even too small to begin with, and just do a little test to see how that comes out. Now with this one, it's forcing it out a little bit. It's not giving me a smooth consistency, so I'm gonna take just a little bit more off. Best to do this in small pieces, and then we get just to the right amount so we can easily pipe these chocolate chips onto the baking parchment. So just fill the baking parchment with as many chocolate chips as you can. When you're done, transfer them onto a tray and then place them into the freezer for a few hours. So now we've got these beautiful, firm chocolate chips out of the freezer. You can just unpick them from the baking parchment, ready to go and just be stirred straight into the cookie mixture. So stir it all in and then we're ready to form the cookies. So take an ice cream scoop so that we get a nice even amount for each cookie. And then onto a non-stick dehydrator tray, just place each cookie. And you can get a really quick method going here. And then as you do them, just push them down into nice round homemade looking cookies. So just do the whole tray all in one go. And then work your way through them, pressing them down into a cookie shape. And because we've got even amounts of cookie mixture in each one, it's okay if they look slightly different and look a bit more homemade. So when you're done, pop them into the dehydrator for about eight to 10 hours at 105 degrees Fahrenheit, and you'll have these beautiful cookies ready to go. So there we go then, our cookies have been in the dehydrator for about 12 to 14 hours, and uh, they're all ready to go. So keep these in a sealed container uh, in the fridge. They'll last for easily a week. Um, I mean in terms of shelf life, shelf life they'll last a week but in terms of how quickly you'll eat them they'll be gone quicker than that I'm sure. Now the good thing about these is that when they come right out of the dehydrator the chocolate chips in them will be squidgy because they'll be warm but then as you put them in the fridge then the chocolate chips will firm up so you've got both those options. So give it a go, it's a really really cool use of that extra almond or nut pulp that you've got from making nut milk and uh, let me know how you get on. <laughs> 